here is an interesting ECG as you can see that there is sinus tachycardia P waves are visible electrical alternance is best seen in multiple chest leads the QRS voltage is diffusely low so triad of uh, low voltage electrical alternance and sinus tachycardia points toward pericardial effusion it must be noted that this triad is highly specific but not very sensitive for pericardial effusion as there might be QRS voltage variation with the normal respiration in atrial fibrillation in paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia especially AVRT and in ventricular tachycardia electrical alternance of pericardial effusion is different from the arrhythmic cause of electrical alternance in that the heart is doing a swinging motion in the pericardial fluid it must be noted that QRS alternation 2 to 1 ratio is slower in cases of changes with respiration and atrial fibrillation as opposed to that with the pathological pericardial effusion patient may need pericardial synthesis depending upon echocardiographic assessment and the diastolic collapse of the right ventricle